Welcome inside the film room. I'm Dustin Fox. He's Bernie Kosar. We are going to look at the Minnesota Vikings offense. Bernie, I think we need some kegs and eggs because this is an early start this Sunday. Yeah, very early start. This is what I love about the NFL <laughs> football. You get yeah. to go about 14 hours of watching football. Have you ever played overseas? Yeah, I actually played in 1989. Uh, Browns played the Philadelphia Eagles. From a player standpoint, do you think that there's any factors with traveling overseas, early start to the game and things like that for the players? Well, we've been over there for a few days, so I think you have a little bit of a time to get acclimated. I think both teams have to go through it. I, I liked it because I liked the way the field was. It was mm -hmm. kind of the old school Cleveland Browns Municipal Stadium mm -hmm. type field. So it was a field that was, was highly conducive for me to play. Well, let's hope we can slow down some of these guys on the Vikings. And Case Keenum's been the guy because Bradford's been banged up all season. Case Keenum's done great stepping in for him. So it's even though it's the second team quarterback, it, uh, there's not much drop off right now the way he's, Case has been playing the last couple weeks. And this is going to be a little play action pass here. And, you know, a lot was made about Adrian Peterson not being on the Minnesota Vikings anymore as they let him go. But this McKinnon kid has really played well as he leaks out here on the screen pass. I wanted to point out on this, Minnesota, and, and I love Coach Zimmer, we all have some traits to us on our personality-wise. Being a great defensive coordinator for multiple decades in the league, Sometimes they want to play a little conservative with their offense, beat you with good defense, good special teams, and sound offense. So you're going to see a lot of screens, running game, safe throws. And here, even though they're motion, it looks like they're going to be coming down here to the three receiver side. It's really just a gimmick here to get a nice screenplay and get them open here in, in, with uh, depth and with territory. Talk about what they're going to do with the guys that they have, right? I mean, they're down a few guys at skill positions. And you know, although he wasn't a great head coach here in Cleveland, Pat Shermer, who's the offensive coordinator in Minnesota, does a good job getting the most out of his guys. For us, we got to anticipate these type of somewhat conservative safe throws. Mm -hmm. Keep these as, you know, couple yard game plays. You can't let these kind of safe plays turn into a disaster here for you of basically a 30 some yard touchdown yeah, pass. This McKinnon is a special back. He was a former option quarterback in college and uh, you know so they, they can use him in a variety of ways in their offense they can move him in the backfield and run some wildcat and and certainly he can run the rock and he can catch it out of the backfield too unfortunately for us yeah. you're right all right there was a look at the minnesota vikings offense thanks again for joining us inside the film room for bernie kosar i'm dustin fox we'll see you next time